I'm a victim. I'm not a victim. I'm a victim. I am not a victim. Now, what if it were that simple? What if you just choose not to be a victim? There's this mindset pervasive in our society. It's almost invisible. And it wreaks havoc in our lives. It's called victim consciousness. It's where you feel like you've been wronged. You have no power, you have no choice. And because of this, you suffer. Your emotions control your life. And there are important parts of your life that are just on hold. The reason I know this, I've suffered from victim consciousness. But there's another characteristic that's really important to know about this. Victim consciousness is a choice. For me, I've chosen no. And my hope is that after I've shared with you, you also will say no. My turning point happened during a phone conversation with my dad where I was trying to get him to understand why I was so mad at him and my mom. No, dad, it has nothing to do with the sexual assault. I'm not having flashbacks. That was so long ago. I'm so done with that. In fact, I'm proud of how I handled this assault. I showed up in my power and I chose not to be a victim. I looked for options, I took them, and you know what happened? My assailant backed off and I walked away. The problem was that after those three traumas, you guys weren't there for me. I had to go through my own healing. And because of that, all the relationships since that point on were adversely affected. That is why I'm going through what I'm going through. And that is why I'm bitter. I get off the phone and I can't help but notice, notice the incongruity. There I was bragging about how masterfully I was navigating a sexual assault and a death threat accessing my power and in the same breath I'm showing up as a victim with my own family so I wondered if I could choose not to act like a victim in the assault where I'm actually being victimized in that situation could I choose that now and I realized I could. For that matter, I could choose it all the time. And I also realized that when I choose that, I don't suffer as much. My life's not on hold. I'm free. At that point, it was a no-brainer for me. I drew a line in the sand. Victim consciousness, you are not welcome anymore. Now, how about you? Is there a place in your life where you are acting like a victim. You feel like you have no power or maybe your well-being is in someone else's hands. What if you could choose otherwise? Let me tell you how. First, recognize when you're in victim consciousness. Just notice, when are you feeling that someone else is has wronged you or that your well-being is outside of you. Second, know that the reason we go to victim consciousness is because we feel hurt. And what we really want is for our pain to be held and healed. So find ways to hold and heal your pain. If the tears want to flow, let them flow. If you want to howl, howl. Just be present with your awareness. Notice how you're feeling emotionally. Experience the physiological ex expression of those emotions. And it's that presence that is holding that pain and healing it. And third, don't act 
like a victim. Now, you may feel like a victim, but you still don't have to act like one. For example, during my assault, I wanted to have my knees buckle and just melt into a puddle on the floor. But I chose to be calm and collected. And because of that, I was able to navigate more effectively. And fourth, find options. They may be minuscule, but know that you always have choice. And if it's hard to find options, here's a technique. Take the thing that you think you have to do off the table. What would you do? So there you go. Here is how you can say no to victim consciousness. So now I ask you, are you ready to say no to victim consciousness? When you say no to victim consciousness, it's like lifting a veil and you reclaim your essence, which is power, joy, and freedom. I'm not a victim. I am not a victim.